in this video we will add ADC support to our uh, project which was the LED blinking and we will use a regular LED as an input to the analog converter so the ground of the LED is connected to ground of the board and uh, the plus is connected to the analog input so as you see the light changes and also the input values also change so let's get started so now we are in our blink project so first of all let's start with the kconfig to add the needed adc instances so let's type in adc and we need to check this and also we need to This one also checked and in the device drivers there is also an instance. right here. We also need this one for correct uh, functioning. So let's click save. Okay. And now let's click build. And it will take uh, quite a while. Okay, so the build is complete. Now let's go ahead see the main function. Uh, and I also prepared a code snippet right here for the functions we need to add and also a few includes. Let's copy this right over here. And what do we have here? So uh, the includes for ADC, the other driver, and also a few. Uh, includes functions like uh, str lang and so on. Uh, next, we have the structure for the ADC device, which we will reference later. And a few defines of the resolution, the gain, and also the gain can be also, uh, increased to 128. So we can measure really small signals, but for now on uh, the one sixth uh, value of the signal is quite enough. And also we can uh, change the ADC reference, PDD, also internal, and so on. Uh, we will use the channel uh, zero input, and we will uh, just uh, read one value and uh, we have a function for configuring the channel so um, we can use it as uh, single-ended and we can also use it as a differential uh, to use it as a differential we will have to add uh, dot input negative and the channel we want to use as the negative reference Next on, uh, we have a structure for the options. Second one, uh, if we want to get a few more uh, samples, we can change uh, this to some other value. So if you want two instead of one, we can get here one and change the buffer size to two. So we get two. Uh, reads from the ADC. Mm, okay, so now uh, this is the function in which we actually read the uh, ADC. So we use the function ADC read and the uh, results are uh, saved in the buffer we declared in this place. 
and after the reading uh, we will print the results. So let's just print one. Okay, and I also added a function which will print an ADC sample and wait one millisecond. So we will use this instead of the uh, 100 millisecond uh, delay we used uh, before. And now let's uh, add the reference to the ADC. It prob probably will be this number of the device. And also we will set up the channel to make sure that we have uh, this correct. We can go to the generated Zephyr and device handles and at the bottom of the file we see uh, we got uh, device 75 as the ADC. So let's go back and now we can just uh, change the function for the delay for the function that has uh, printing the ADC values. And we will not print the OK plus uh, loop number. So just this. So let's build a solution. OK, so now let's uh, flash it. OK, so we got it programmed. Now let's uh, use a terminal uh, program. I use the serial plot. So we select the last port and open it. OK. So now let's take a look how it changes. So covering the LED, we got lower values, so it works as intended. So, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.